Today's headline IPUB Does regard sit at home order? Police says. Welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning in to the news. But please do well to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully to the end. The police command in Eboy has urged residents in the states to discountenance the seat at home order by the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, scheduled from May 8th through May 11. This is contained in a statement issued by SP Onome Onovakwoyeya. Pardon. In Abaka, spokesperson of the command in Abakaliki on Monday. The statement quoted the commissioner of police in Eboi, CP Faleye Olaleye, describing the order as unconstitutional and unlawful. Police is aware of the statement in circulation by a group that called itself indigenous people of Biafra, high pop, asking people to observe a seat at home from May 8 to May 11, 2023, for reasons best known to them. The order is unconstitutional, unlawful, and cannot stand. We, therefore, enjoin the good people of Eboy to discontent Pardon, to discontent the order and go about their lawful business without fear of intimidation as police is prepared more than before to provide them with a maximum protection for their safety, he said. The commissioner also urged members of the public to oblige the force with information about threats to their safety in the states we assure you that the command shall continue to be resilient in its determination to ensure criminal elements are denied the space to carry out their unlawful activities in the states olaleye says none in a boeing the ipop has already declared a sit at home order from May 8th to May 11. We you know that the IPOP is known as known for declaring sit at home order in all southeast states. Even recently in Lagos, they declared sit at home for all Igbos in Lagos states. But all this, their sit at home is just for the release of Mazunam Dikano, who is the leader of IPOP. But despite that fact, the federal government is not did not release Mazunam Dekanu. Recently, also, the IPOP declared two weeks, gave, pardon, gave the federal government two weeks ultimatum to release their leader unless they are going to do what they do not want them to do, and if he is not released, then they will face the federal government themselves. And also recently in Anambra states, today, May 10th, pardon, on May 10th, there was sit at home order. And they said that in Lagos also, that May 30 will be used as sit at home in every places, even in Lagos, that they want to pray with lighted candles for falling heroes. The high pop are tired of the the country in Nigeria. They want to have their own straight state of Biafra, and sit at home has been endorsed. Whereby, before it was only Mondays. Later, they shifted it to Mondays to one week, sometimes two weeks, and it must be done because there is always killings and destruction of properties. 
So t- on May 10th, the police in Anambra State, Southeast Nigeria, would dispatch some people trying to enforce a sit-at-home exercise on Tuesday afternoon. The police was accused the IPOP, its militant wing, Eastern Security Network, of being behind the illegal seat at home, saying they should also avert an attack on the bank and other security forces. The outlawed group members armed with guns and other dangerous weapons came out in their numbers on a motorbike and started shooting sporadically in an attempt to rob a bank and to disrupt commercial activities and vehicular movements going on in Iyala. So now, the 14 days they've given the federal government a started counting. And also there's another seat at home, which is May 30, to pray with lighted candles. And the, the IPOP issued the directive while urging Igbos. This was said by the IPOP spokesman. Biafran in Lagos and other parts of Nigerians are encouraged to join the sit at home order on that day. It's only one day. But in a point state, the police are told people to continue with their businesses that the sit at home is unlawful and it cannot stand. Hype up is just an agitating state. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Thank you.